Exodus chapter 19, in the third month after the children of Israel went out from Egypt, on the same day, they came into the wasteland of Sinai. And when they had gone away from Repidim and had come into the wasteland of Sinai, they put up their tents in the wasteland before the mountain. There Israel put up his each touch, and Moses went up to God, and the voice of the Lord came to him from the mountain, saying, Say to the family of Jacob, and give word to the children of Israel. You have seen what I did to the Egyptian, and how I took you as on eagle's wings, guiding you to myself. If now you truly give ear to my voice and keep my agreement, you will be my special property out of all the peoples, for all the earth is mine. And you will be a kingdom of Christ to me and a holy nation. These are the words which you are to say to the children of Israel. And Moses came and sent for the chiefs of the people and put before them all these words which the Lord had given him orders to say. And all the people answering together said, Whatever the Lord had said, we will do. And Moses took back to the Lord the words of the people. And the Lord said to Moses, See, I will come to you in a thick cloud so that what I say to you may come to the ears of the people, and they may have belief in you forever. And Moses gave the Lord word of what the people had said. And the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and make them holy today and tomorrow, and let their clothing be washed. And by the third day, let them be ready, for on the third day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai before the eyes of all the people, and let limits be marked out for the people round the mountain, and say to them, Take care not to go up the mountain or near the sides of it. Whoever puts his foot on the mountain will certainly come to his death. He is not to be touched by your hand, but is to be stoned or have an arrow put through him, man or beast. He is to be put to death at the long sounding of a horn. They may come up to the mountain. Then Moses went down from the mountain to the people and made the people holy, and their clothing was waste, washed. And he said to the people, Be ready by the third day, do not come near a woman. And when morning came on the third day, there were thunders and flames and a thick cloud on the mountains, and a horn sounding very loudly, and all the people in the tent were shaking with fear. And Moses made the people come out of their tents and take their places before God, and they came to the foot of the mountain, and all the mountain of Sinai was, was smoking, for the Lord had come down on it in fire, and the smoke of it went up like the smoke of great burning, and all the mountain was shaking. And when the sound of the horn became louder and louder, Moses was or answered by the voice of God. Then the Lord came down on to Mount Sinai, to the top of the mountain, and the Lord sent for Moses to come up to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. And the Lord said to Moses, Go down and give the people orders to keep back, for fear that a great number of them forcing their way through 
to see the Lord may come to destruction. Let the priests who come near to the Lord make themselves holy, for fear the Lord may come on them suddenly. And Moses said to the Lord, The people will not be able to come up the mountain, for you gave us orders to put the limits around the mountain, marking it out, making it holy. And the Lord said to him, Go down, and you and Aaron may come up, but let not the priest and the people make their way through to the Lord. Why he come on them suddenly. So Moses went down to the people and said this to them. 